Hey, what up? Welcome to the first episode of East Meets West Vinyls. And I'd like to introduce you to a big good buddy of mine and an awesome collector of uh, vinyl and CDs. is Mr. Fubi right here. My bro. My brother from another mother. <laughs> How's your beer? <laughs> and uh, here we have a BB poem. And the only reason she's on the couch is we had a test run earlier. She was jumping over the records. We can't have that. No jumping on vinyl, no chewing on vinyl. But you're cute, so you're allowed to stay. I got a lot of questions regarding, you know, uh, a lot of buyers on the Japanese records, mm -hmm. and I just collected because they're here, you know, yep. they I had access to them, and so. But there's a lot of stuff that, you know, I've learned from my, either other collectors buying or from you telling about all these other, you mm -hmm. know, types of uh, OBs there. So I figured this first episode we could actually talk about Japanese OBs and all the different types of OBs, mm -hmm. and oh, and how you actually say it. it's not OBI, it's OB. Yeah, it's OB. Some people always say OBI. You got the OBI? Is that kind of OBI? <laughs> I sound like a, a, a surgery thing or doctor yeah, yeah. thing. You know, O G B Y E, whatever. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, why don't you start? You brought some records, some examples here, and mm -hmm. I got some examples over here as well about some different type of OBs that were actually released in here in Japan. Okay. Um, okay, I'll show you some example of what OB looks like and the importance of it. Yep. Right. Of course. Well, and is. this is. Aerosmith 1976 classic rocks and look at this beautiful golden obi never seen a golden obi right and which label is this by the way this is from CBS Sony CBS oh, Sony so, so Sony, Sony was the one that did these gold yeah oh man that's beautiful I've never seen that uh, obi before that's awesome so let's talk about obi and let's start from what it's all about Japanese obi means belt right so I think Everybody can easily describe um, how the Japanese traditional clothes looks like, like a kimono, right. the samurai, a uh, geisha, easily to make an image, right? I got the geisha, man. <laughs> <laughs> and they have a big belt on the belly. Right. It's called obi. So the, every Japanese had an obi in the old times, right? So it's very traditional to keep the design. Traditional. Uh, it's more common for the, the novels to put a cover on. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It on started, the bottom of the book, yeah, right. early uh, 1914, I think. Oh, geez, okay. Mm -hmm. It's for um, political purpose. Really? Yeah. Uh, it says that the left wing people uh. started to write something for their political uh, purpose. Oh, like the messages on the. Then their messages. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Then that turned into more commercial. Purposes. So the left wing, yeah. you know, chose this yeah. traditional way to yeah. uh, get their political views across. Yeah. yeah, it's still common for novels or books to put a uh, obi on mm -hmm. for a uh, you know uh, taglines, right? Or put uh, synopsis, right? Highlights or, of the book, whatever. Yeah. And a recommendation from the you know famous people such as actors, oh, okay, or cool. musicians or uh, the people from TV. That's what the like no that. that's what the OBs yeah. for the novels were used yeah. for. Okay, right yeah. on. Is that for manga and the comics as well? Everything, okay. everything. Right on. In 1948, the Columbia Liquor released very first LPs. Okay, it was who was 19 that? Uh, that was a classic album from the uh, Mendelssohn. Okay. Mendelssohn. Okay. In a violin concept. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So it was released from Columbia Records in 1948, Ooh. right? Three years later, uh, Columbia Japan mm. started to import okay. the LPs, right? right. Was the first group that they imported? The same thing, the, 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 the classic records. Classical records yeah. were the very first, okay. Yeah, but that was 19. 15-1. Okay. Right? Wasn't you should remember. Yet. Yeah, we, we weren't born. <laughs> I was, but, I was but, a little squiggly guy. Yeah, we have to understand <laughs> that what kind of year was that for Japan? It's right. Only six years after, after the, the war. war. That's right, man. So no Japanese could read English because during the war, right. English is the hostile language. Right, they even changed the baseball to yeah. you know, Japanese. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. So nobody was allowed to read or study English unless you were working for the government, right? Right, and you're spying or something like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you translator. listen to English music, you'll get caught uh. and you get tortured. Oof. Even worse, you'll be killed. That, that, that right? would suck, man. For spying, right? That sucks. So after a few years after the war, mm. Everything was open. Right. Everything was renewed. So right. people had a Dreams. freedom. Yeah. Freedom <laughs> That's to right. enjoy. It's almost like the American dream. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. People had a freedom to enjoy uh, American or foreign entertainment. Mm. But 
no one could read English characters. Oh, snap, okay. Makes sense. The record company have to put the Japanese titles on the cover, but I think they thought it's much easier to put a obi <laughs> over the cover right rather than making a new, new cover cover from mm. the scratch right right right, right. It okay makes sense, makes sense so, totally so yeah. that's, that's how the obi started okay yeah it was and that was from Columbia. Long time ago. yeah it was Colombia Colombia was the first major record label then here in Japan then uh, I'm not sure but the, the one of the first at least with the one yes. that went boom yeah 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 okay yeah. and that's then later it turned OB. into uh, kind of uh, same purpose for the hype stickers. Mm -hmm. You have, you also have it in uh, you know, America, everywhere right, right, in right. the world. Uh, why, why this is gold, right? Mm -hmm. Why this is gold? This is the best-selling Aerosmith album in the '70s. This is uh, the celebration for hitting the platinum. Oh, there, yeah, there yeah, it, is. it says, "Zembe is the O America, O America number one, and platinum disc received." Number one. This is best-selling record in America nice. and looks gorgeous yeah, dude, in a gold. I, I love it man. So is that there were the only limited quantities that came out because uh, obviously the first issue came out with a simple OB. I don't think it was a limited but they changed it. Right so it couldn't other, be as that yeah, many. This, so. Yeah this particular one have the three types of the OBs. Right. And the other other uh, types and other color. Right. And this is the first one. Dude. That and is... uh, uh, here there's some Japanese uh, messages mm. comment from Steven Tyler. Oh, word! What yeah. do you say? It says, <laughs> if, the, rocks, yeah, <laughs> if, if there's any rock and roll band who can rock better than us, we will be their Lodi. Ha ha ha! From Steven Tyler. <laughs> oh, snaps! <laughs> Ballsy words. <laughs> but that's that's an awesome album there. So, and uh, was this the first uh, issue, first press then? With this, this is the first guys? first issue. Okay, so they yeah. they took the U.S. status. Mm -hmm. uh, the platinum hitting platinum and then, then took it yeah, used it to promote here in Japan the, the, the releasing timing of the uh, the US album is mostly delayed okay back yeah. in the day mm -hmm. maybe three or six months later yeah we're so, kissing it here till 76 mm -hmm. yeah 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 so. yeah so that's why this was already a big hit in the US mm. when they were first released in Japan right on yeah so they knew it was gonna sell anyways it's mm -hmm. already hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that, that, I love, I've never seen that OB dude. That's, mm -hmm. Thanks for bringing that, man. That's really fucking cool. And I'm going to show you uh, another sample. Uh, this is uh, Heart. Heart 1985. Oh, two alternates. Great there. album. The Heart. I love this album. Great this is a great song. album, right? Yes, and beautiful album. I love yeah, this beautiful. Album. And also, this dude, cover you got is beautiful. nice condition, man. Of course, damn. Yeah. That's what collectors are all about. Absolutely. 100% agree with you, man. Yeah. This cover is beautiful. Beautiful. And look at this beautiful yeah, OB with the mint, dude. blue design and mint. A red heart. This is beautiful, right? Do not jump on this. <laughs> and this album also hit the platinum. Okay. And this album oh. had a hit the number one in the Billboard chart. Okay. This label was Toshiba EMI. Okay, let's Toshiba EMI. Okay. Toshiba EMI. What year is that? 80... 85. 85, okay. The Toshiba EMI have to celebrate this mm -hmm. album, right? So this so, first press. Yeah, first press. Okay. So look at this second. Oh, the there same. it is. Same design, similar design. Oh, man, but gold strip. Yeah. yeah. White Dude, base, that goes trip, and even the bigger logo with the heart. Yes, and then they got the type yeah. there. It says, Oh, America album chart number one platinum disc achieved. Dude, <laughs> dope. Dude, that is dope. That's badass, man. Cool. Let's go. What else we got here? I'm going to show you another cool sample of the Japanese obi. Mm. The style is different. Oh. This is horizontal. Nice, yes, not this way. This right. way. Until early 80s, Before there was, was no no shrink wrap in a Japanese record. Oh really? Yeah, no shrink wrap. They just had the OBs like just how you had the Aerosmith one popped out? Yeah, because just, uh, just co cover it with uh, the, the op open open right. plastic. Oh okay, okay. Not, okay, a okay, shrink okay. Wrap. not shrink wrap, okay, no, it wasn't sealed. But late 80s, hmm. uh, the CB Sony started to, to sell record with uh, shrink wrap. Okay, right? sealing it. Yep. And this is much easier to find at a record store uh, when you uh, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they changed the OB style from vertical uh, to horizontal. How long did that last? Because I don't see many of these. 1989. Oh. All the major label in Japan mm. stopped releasing vinyl. I know. They have uh, information here for limited only Japan original booklet. 
inside. Yeah. Oh wow. It's not on the cover, obviously, right? Right, 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 right. Because it's Japan original. Only, right? Yeah. So it has the cool. Booklet. There it is. Oh, nice. Inside 12 pages booklet. And this is you, okay. which you cannot have in a US edition. Right. So this is what, see, this is what, you know, what I'm talking about, that's what everyone's mm -hmm. at. Did you have all the inserts, inserts, inserts? Mm -hmm. uh, but not just, inserts are important, but OB, without the OB and the insert, the record just goes blah, down in value, right? And then OB, with, without the insert, you can always find the insert later, right? Yeah. You know, so it's more important to have the OB because mm -hmm. that would, I would think, right? Oh, this, oh, this is great, man. Oh man, look at that badass little mint. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, great condition too, man. This is beautiful. You know, if I if I if I'm missing a vinyl and I, you know it's not a good condition, I'll buy it and then I'm hoping to upgrade later. Which yeah, you yeah, see yeah. my stuff. <laughs> hey, you want yeah. this movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We so. call it Frankenstein. The, collecting. Frankenstein collecting, yeah, man. Yeah, maybe our first first finding was good disc condition, mm -hmm. but maybe cover is. Well, that's so good. Right, I got some we creases can, and whatnot. You can always get another one, mm -hmm. merge it. Or like an OB was ripped or something <laughs> like that, get a better OB. <laughs> Absolutely, Frankenstein, GG, GG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes OB is missing, we get another one, yep. and we pick the good OB, yep. a good cover. Find the OB things. without the insert so it's cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fun, right? No, dude, I love it. It's, it's really fun. I, I have a good time. And I like, you know, I, I never actually thought I'd be selling my records, which I'll be mm -hmm. stopping here soon, thank God. But, um, uh, I, I like collecting. It's for myself. I'm not collect. I don't. Even if something's expensive, if I want it, I'll buy it. You know, what I mean? <laughs> like it's, it's going to be. It's going to be on my wall or whatever. You know. But yeah, this is really cool. This uh, this uh, particular one that came out in the late '80s. Mm -hmm. Now, and they stopped vinyl mm -hmm. uh, manufacturing, so that pretty much went out the door. Mm -hmm. So whoever created that was so excited. Mm -hmm. Said, "Damn, we got a great idea!" <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta make it for CDs or what? <laughs> right on, cool man. So yeah, and yeah, no, we have the unique one over there. Oh yeah, that, that's you know that's another thing is that um you know uh, and my, my knowledge is all about Kiss. You know that's how I learned all about, about my uh, Japanese vinyl collecting. And here's what uh, you know welcoming for the tour, the first tour coming to Japan. And these are limited, mm -hmm. and it just makes the value of the album, you know, because there's so I mean especially like you know you got collectors in uh, any type of uh, whether it's Kiss or you know, Rush, you know all those they're always looking Judas Priest, Iron Maiden. They got these things too. They just we have a um, um, three characters in Japanese. I think you. You got a lot more than three, man. Yeah. No, 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 the types <laughs> of the characters. Right, right, right. Go ahead. No, no. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. These characters is called kanji, kanji, right? And it's a, um, it's an ideogram, and it came from China. We borrow it from China, and we have other two types of characters, which is called hiragana and katakana. That's uh, uh, phonetics. Okay, yeah, here. yeah. So this is kiss. It's a phonetic so We can read it kiss, but these are uh, ideograms, so mm. the sound is different. Right. The, each character has each meaning. So these upper two. This is coming to Japan. This is anniversary, and this is disc. Coming to Japan anniversary disc. Get Japanese lessons too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all cool. Yeah, yeah. So look at that. I mean, so this was. I didn't even know I had this. And it was really cool that, uh, I mean, I knew I had it, but I didn't know the value of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people were looking for it. So I guess, you know, that was really cool that I had that. It's like finding treasure. Mm -hmm. And so, we're selling it tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we had some other stuff that um, I wanted to, other type of OBs. Here's that other one we talked about earlier. Is that mm -hmm. okay? Of course. And here's the rock and roll over. Yeah, and it Actually, has, also it has a two OBs. Yes. The, the, and most of my OB, you know, experience. I'm sorry, it's all about Kiss. That's all I know. But um, here's the hard look woman, you know, super hit, whatever. Yeah. You know. Now, big hit, hard look woman. Yeah, say it in the Japanese <laughs> way. Can you read it? Yeah, yeah Dai hit to chu hard luck woman. <laughs> Boom, baby. Uh, but yeah, and uh, also it was cool. But uh, in Japan, uh, rock and roll over in the U.S. It was came it didn't come as a gatefold, but in Japan it was a gatefold. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool too. Voila. Wow. So that's kind of cool. Clean OB there. Yeah. This code over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this is another one. Because of this little strip here, mm -hmm. the value of this record would just go up, you mm -hmm. know, even though it's, a, it's, a, it's like a hype sticker for Hard Luck Woman being on yeah, the song as a single. Is. And so, uh, and here is because they're coming in tour. Their first tour was 77 mm -hmm. through Udo, right? Mm -hmm. 78. And so 
that was pretty much they oh, put these bands on let's mm. get you know how, get those sales for those concert tickets out yes. that's how they would promote it there back in the you know the media day when there's actually mm. tangible items <laughs> not you know looking on your phone and computers and whatnot but uh that, that that's really cool and uh they always had the this is actually a um a, a reissue Yes. Uh, because the the limited first one was came with the poster had a hype sticker on there uh, saying mm -hmm. poster mm -hmm. was inside it mm -hmm. which I have over here actually mm -hmm. uh, but yeah I wanted to show this OB here mm -hmm. um, but uh, and then they would um, you know as they reissued them with different OB styles mm -hmm. maybe with just different writing mm -hmm. some of them came with like this one doesn't show anything about the sticker or the poster mm -hmm. in there right no oh what? It's, it's, Paul, it's a message yeah, from yeah, Paul, Paul Stanley. Stanley yeah, yeah, Paul Stanley message. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so the original, the first press came, you know, showing that, you know, came with a poster mm -hmm. and a sticker, which was limited. And so, but yes, that's one thing you have to look at. And then I know you guys in the, you know, the US, Europe, what have you, you guys can't read Japanese, but just look at the characters. If they don't match, that means you got to alternate OB. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. It's like a puzzle. Um, and here's the other OB. Again, another Kiss uh, example. Elder, uh, the music from the Elder. It's the first album Kiss came out with no picture of them mm -hmm. on it. You know, it's like Paul Stanley's hand on a door. <laughs> so I think the Japanese were right mm -hmm. to put this mm -hmm. OB in there and to make it, you know, Kiss on the cover. Yeah. So everyone can understand this is Kiss' new album. Right, yeah. Otherwise, you saw a hand on a door. It's like, <laughs> oh. Although, I can't hear it because this is my first album I ever got when I was back in 1981. And this is actually the second issue, uh, mm -hmm. the alternate um, OB. The first one had the like you got a sticker, uh, the bag, the kiss bag, mm -hmm. which I really want, the button and everything in there. So that was another example yeah. of obese. Yeah, but what happened to the hair, bro? <laughs> Paul Stanley, mean, no, Paul Stanley had the Padawan thing going on. You know, he had that what, he had a what, big Padawan what, thing going. What happened to the hair, <laughs> dude? Dude, wait, Eric Carr can't play. Yeah, that, he always look at that. Ace had a big trim on his. Yeah, he's got. But uh, oh, Gene had a Padawan thing mm -hmm. going too. Uh -huh. So yeah, and then he got anal beads, you know, for yeah. Paul Stanley's necklace. <laughs> he was good but this is something interesting for you know collecting the the vintage stuff, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, vintage. There's no intention to to make funny things at that time, right? Right. But it's it serious. Now, it's really, really funny, right? But, but you know, this, 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 that. But you see, this was my first introduction to Kiss. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. So I thought they were cool as fuck, dude. You did. You <laughs> yeah, you did. Dude, I was eight years old, man, and I saw them on TV. I was in America, and I saw them on this show called Fridays, and they came out like, "Who the fuck are these dudes? They're like superheroes," and I didn't care about the, you know, headband, you know. And this dude looks scary as hell. Gene scared the shit out of me. And I just thought Ace was so cool playing this card, looking drunk all the time. But yeah, nah, th th yeah. But now I look at it, and you know, you look at the, some of the, you know Ace's hair, especially. He, he just did not look good with short hair. You know, well, that got right. He's so fine. But um, yeah. But yes, that was my this. That, this is where my history began. Mm -hmm. This is my history. So let me take this out so I had a glare on there. Whoa. So yes, OBs, you know, so if you are going to be collecting, you know, uh, Japanese vinyls, always check the OBs, make sure they if you, I mean, if you really want, you know, uh, that's what makes it stand out from, you know, other albums from Europe and whatnot, is the OB, and uh, the OB definitely makes it go up in price, so always keep your OBs, whether, not just records, but CDs as well, you know, so, you know, when we sell CDs, we go, you know, do shows where we buy CDs, always keep that little strip OB, because uh, that, you know, maintains the value of the record or the CD. And of course the inserts as well. Yeah, and sometimes these hype stickers Ooh, come the together come together with Obi. What they, the hell is a hype sticker? You got a yeah, hype Yeah, they, they had a, a Obi a shrink wrap and they got a hype sticker over it. Wow. Nice. But I always keep the hype sticker. Oh, this was on the away. this was on the saran wrap. Yes. Oh, you cut this shit out. Yeah, and Damn. I keep it. Dude, that's another it. level there, man. Yes. I don't do that. That's another no, level. You, you know what? Never throw it away. I'm gonna, dude. You just taught me something. I'm never gonna. I'm, I'm gonna learn that, man. Always keep it. But you know, another thing that just remind me of um, regarding these hype stickers. They also they had the hype on the OBs at the time, like uh -huh. we we're saying. Yeah. Also, they had the in-store point of purchase, mm -hmm. like posters mm -hmm. and stuff, only for Japan, obviously. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah. just that, you know, we talked about the record prices being so much higher as well in the, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, but for the point of purchase, that was just for like what happens when you know. There's no more posters to give away. <laughs> I mean, wait, what did they change the OB and do a reissue of the records? Because I've seen that you know some OBs mm -hmm. have 
like uh, the Kiss Alive 2 has mm. with posters, mm. but many people don't even have a poster. It looked like it's supposed to come in the record, but none came in the record. It was at a point of purchase type yeah, of thing. Yeah, there's a several styles. There will be a fold out poster inside right. the cover. Which but sometimes the it had that. Yeah, but sometimes it came with a poster, n not folded in a round. Right, it was rolled, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, it's almost impossible to find it in a secondhand store. Yeah. Almost impossible. <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, I pay like. 500 bucks for a poster yeah, with, with no pinholes, you, you know, and still kind of, you know, has a, you know, it's not mint, but still, mm -hmm. you know, I got, I got one, but still in the seal, wrapped, took out for just mm -hmm. pictures, but it's because it's just been, you know, so old, it still brittles on the little, on the edge, but that was another 500 bucks. I mean, things go for thousands now if you get those in-store giveaways, mm -hmm. those posters, it's amazing. But cool, man. What else we have? Anything more on the OBs here? Or? Well, I think it's all for this episode, I think. Yeah, and if you guys have any questions, please send us, a, you know, a message below and, uh, if you have any questions regarding certain OBs or a band that you collect and you want to know about something, you know, ask him. <laughs> He'll tell you the answer. Ask, <laughs> ask Fubi. <laughs> so, but uh, some cool stuff uh, that, you know, some good knowledge that's out there regarding the OBs and uh, what to look for and what, you know, what's making them more value than the other one, for instance. So, yeah. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you bringing out this. Time. That gold. Thank you. Uh, Aerosmith is really dope. And, that too hard to now I want to go buy those when we look on <laughs> line and whatnot so yeah cool stuff but there we go all right cool hope you enjoyed that uh, episode of, of OBs and hope you learned something I did and then good luck record collecting and let us know if you have any questions <laughs>